My dear students, welcome to Unit 3, Week 1. We're going to start with uh, Lesson 1. Uh, of course, the unit extends from the 7th of January till the 11th of January. First of all, during this uh, class, you're going to review your E1 exam and you're going to recognize your strength and weakness points. The word wall is going to include review, weakness, strength, discussion, and analyze. Um, you're going to watch a video about reviewing and how to ace your exam and tips. You'll have an interactive activity. You'll watch a video about how to find, uh, well, about finding weakness and strengthening points, and strength points, and finding strength in weakness. You'll have another interactive activity further practice, and for the challenging question, what are effective revision strategies for students? You will have a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, you're going to search for the population pre-1800s. For lesson two, you're going to recognize the key concept, related concept, and global context of the unit, and you're going to formulate the SOI. You're going to recognize the criteria of the unit. Uh, um, the word wall is going to include criterion, key concept, related concepts, global context, SOI, and generate. You're going to watch a video about how to formulate the statement of inquiry, and you're going to formulate it using ChatGPT. You'll watch a video about INS tasks, MYP individuals and societies, and in groups, you're going to search uh, on how to implement an ACE criterions A, B, C, and D in individuals and societies. You will make a PowerPoint presentation about the criterion and its strands and search on how to get the full mark in it. Group 1 is going to have criterion A, knowing and understanding. Group B, criterion B. Group uh, 3 is going to have criterion C, which is communicating. Group D is going to have criterion T D, which is thinking critically. <clears throat> I gave you tips on what you should you be able to do uh, so you can search more, understand more on how to face this criterion. You will have further practice. The challenging question, how can you engage your audience in your presentation? You're going to write four points. Self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, you're going to write your SMART goal for this semester and bring it the next day to be discussed in class. Now, by the end of lesson three, you're going to introduce, uh, you're going to be introduced to the pattern of global population change, and we will have, you will, you're going to think, pair, share ideas with your colleagues. Uh, the word wall is going to include global, population, change, discussion, process, and sustainable. You're going to watch a video about countries by population uh, density. And then you will have think, pair, share. What areas of the world seem densely populated? What areas of the world seem sparsely populated? You will have an interactive activity related to think, pair, share. Then you are going to watch a video about population pre 1800s. You will have, uh, you're going to have an interactive activity related to that. Further practice for the challenging question what might happen if the Earth exceeds its carrying capacity? You will have a self-assessment quiz, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to think about what do you think might some of the reasons for slow population growth before 1804? Write your answers in your notebook. Can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect.